Welcome back. Social media has changed the way small business owners do business. And for one CEO in particular, handling the change is pure and simple. Patricia Cesaire has more. Paul, this holistic beauty brand is providing so much pleasure to its consumers. Small business owner Don Fitch and her partners have built a brand that has soared in sales, partly due to their strategic use of social media. The success even landed the company on the cover of Black Enterprise. Now, after launching a retail store in a key location in the heart of downtown Newark, New Jersey, this entrepreneur is not only open for business, but she's also open to discussing the strength it took to get here. You've had a remarkably creative brand pretty much since the inception. What was the catalyst to Puka Pure and Simple? Well, actually, I started the business because I had gotten sick. And then one day I just turned over my body labels and I couldn't pronounce half the things in there. I'm like, okay, I'm an educated woman. What is this stuff? So after I did the research, um, I found that it's chemicals and preservatives that could keep things on the shelves. Since I was having this new, healthy, holistic lifestyle, I said, okay, I don't want to put those type of products into my skin, which are going to go into my system. So just for myself, I just started making these products. As I started researching and learning where I got really into it, later in life, it was diagnosed as multiple sclerosis. So I'm working with that holistically. But this is my silver lining. I can never be upset about being sick because look what's happened because of it. The journey that I've gotten to go on and the people that I've gotten to meet and just help has just been amazing. Where is Puka developed? We actually still make the products by hand. We have a, an industrial kitchen, so we have a lot of people in there mixing and stirring. We like small batches. We like it made fresh. We make sure that people know that Puka is not just a retail shop. It's also a DIY location, that it's someplace that you can come and you can learn to make your own products. Workshops have always been a big part of our model. People enjoy a sense of making their own, and we definitely incorporate that into the entire Puka brand. It's it's pretty, good. it's pretty good. Walk me through your stages of growth. The first couple of years, a little rocky. We stayed in our warehouse and we did wholesale for a very long time. We sold to whole food markets where the products are sold. And then people just kept knocking on the door. And we were turning them away like, okay, we're doing wholesale. And then we're like, uh, wait a minute. If they want to come here, let's let them come in and buy. And that's how we started doing a little bit of retail. But we were nervous. We didn't know if we wanted a brick and mortar store because our wholesale model and our online model were working really well. And we didn't really want the overhead. But slowly we paced ourselves. In 2012, we we hit 450,000 and we have increased our revenue since then 20% every year. So it's been going very, very well. <laughs> Don is not opposed to partnering one day with a major corporate distributor as long as the integrity of Puka remains pure and simple. There are a lot of different um, manufacturers that are now recognizing natural products and they don't have to put the things in and they can do the smaller runs for you because they know that the products are time sensitive. But we're only going to grow as big as the brand will stay um, with its integrity. I want to get a sense of the biggest lesson that you think will help contribute to your success moving forward. I always say um, the three P's for me, prayer, persistence, and perseverance. I know that I'm not going to be where I want to be tomorrow, but I'm going to run a steady race, and I know that eventually, with that prayer laid on top, I'm going to get there. So, we're excited. <laughs>